Hi everyone. I've talked uh, before about the fact that I have social anxiety. It's not a good place to be, but um, it is what it is. It, um, the, the weird thing is even sometimes when I'm with my family, like not when it's a small group, but if there's a big party where there's uh, nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews, I always feel like I don't belong, like I'm out of place and I shouldn't be there. And what I do instead, because I don't leave, is I latch on to one person and kind of monopolize their whole evening because it's a safe place to be. Might not be, on, be fair to them, but unfortunately that is what I do. I can perform, I can be on camera, I can do interviews, I've done stand-up comedy, improv, I love all of that stuff. I get nervous, but I'm not anxious. It's kind of a, a fun place to be. Anyway, here in Chilliwack, we have something called Creative Thursdays. And that's where a guest is invited um, and they're interviewed to talk about whatever their subject is. I've been to two of them in person. It was really, really difficult for me. Even though I'm not participating, I'm just sitting there in the audience. I pull my body real tight, trying to make myself small. I'm not sure if you can understand that, but that's what I do. But there was this recent one, which was actually happened yesterday, was a virtual one. And I thought, oh, that should be great, you know? So the minute I logged on, oh my gosh, that same, same feeling as if I was there in person. People are talking amongst themselves, and I immediately felt that I had made a mistake, that I didn't belong, but I stayed there. I couldn't... I wanted to tap out, but I couldn't do anything. I felt frozen to be there. Um, anyway, at one point, uh, I knew one person, that was Jeff Edwards, because I had interviewed him, and uh, he turned the table on me and interviewed me. Some of the people there, I knew who they were, but I didn't really know them. Jeff um, mentioned, asked if everybody knew each other, and I, I, I spoke, and I said, no, I didn't know most of them. Um, some said they had seen me or they had met me, uh, whether it was performing on stage or whatever it was. Um, even though I spoke, I didn't want to. I don't know why I did. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the evening went on and the guest was interviewed. And at the end of his interview, Jeff asked if anybody had questions. And he said to me, Nancy, you must have something. Oh, my God. Jeff. You don't know this, but at that moment, I just wanted to hide, you know. I just wanted to hide. I don't remember what I said. I think I said something about my social anxiety. And then I invited everybody to be a guest on my show. It was so tough. I don't know if I can get people to understand how difficult that moment was for me. Again, I wanted to tap out, but I didn't. I stayed there. And at the end, everybody saying goodbye. And as soon as I thought that it was safe, I did tap out immediately. I'm not sure if anybody stayed behind and spoke. I would like to have done that. I really would. I would like to have invited everybody to be guest on my show. I would still like to do it. But I couldn't. It was just so difficult. And when I've talked to people before about having social anxiety, people give me different ideas of what works for them. Listen, I'm 72 years old. Do you think that if I could do something to end it, I wouldn't do it? That something would work? I would definitely do that, okay? But that, it ha your idea didn't work for me. I would definitely try it. Other people have said sometimes, you know how you have to step out of your comfort zone? I have lived my whole life outside of a comfort zone due to the fact that we had, you know, grew up in a very abusive home. That's just the way it is. I've learned to live with that, okay? It's, um, it hasn't prevented me from doing things. I, I still like to be noticed. I like to have fun, all of those things. doesn't alter the fact, though, that I have social anxiety. When I was on yesterday, on the Creative Thursday, I, although I know it's not true, I felt as if I was being judged. Now, I'm sure nobody was doing that. But that's how I was feeling at that time. I still want to cry, you know. But I want to talk about it because it's important. People need to know that many of us, we're function. We can function. Doesn't mean we don't have problems, though. But it's okay. I'm okay. 
maybe you'll be okay. If this can inspire you to get out there and do something despite your anxiety, I hope it works for you. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Later, everybody. Peace out.